Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run in this week's Master Nightfall, which is the Disgraced, which some of you might know as the reprised Omnigo Strike from Destiny 1. I'm using Bottom Tree Sunbreaker, and as you can see, I'm going double grenade launcher, scout rifle, empty vessel for unstoppables. Uh, it also has blinding grenades, so it'll be really good for a number of things, and it's solar. I'm using Hung Jury, Rapid Explosive Rounds, and yes, I am using Anarchy. Breaching clear on my bond, which is a must of using grenade launchers. Uh, the usual finders and scavengers for grenade launchers. I've got reactive pulse on my chest plate with double arc uh, resilience. And I've got a few chargeable light build mods just, just to help me get a bit of extra damage. Now, the reason I'm using Anarchy is because one of the main perks of this Nightfall is togetherness. And most of the runs you'll see this week will either be on Hunters or Warlocks because they have that intrinsic ability to get the health back on command. I, on the other hand, got to get grenade kills, got to get super kills. I don't have a rift I can't dodge and get my health back. Although I can put up my, my barrier, as you'll see quite a few times here, and the crest will allow me to get my health back. It's still probably one of my most disliked uh, modifiers in a strike. This togetherness it really works against uh, it really works against solo players. But it is what it is. The reason I'm using anarchy. Why does that affect anything? Why am I using anarchy? Well, the reason I'm using anarchy is because because I'm not getting my health back. Anything I hit, I need to sit down quickly. And Anarchy with Breach and Clear will allow me to do that. Now, here's my thing. And a lot of people might not agree with this. Another thing about using the Anarchy is, if you're coming in to do Masters and you want to solo the Master, then you kind of should have these sorts of weapons. There's been enough guides out by now so that people can use, people could have got these weapons solo. I'm not saying anything about I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about not having it. I just get the question all the time, why are you using the Anarchy? I don't actually use it that often. But I feel like a strike like this, this is what the Anarchy is, you know, this is, this is where the Anarchy will excel. You don't have to use it. You know, there are plenty of other weapons that will do the job. And as I've made a kind of habit of doing on the channel, I like to use different weapons, but... That's enough about the Anarchy. If you do have a problem with me using it, there's not much I can really do about that. So, as you've seen, when I first came into this room, there's two main kind of choke points, and one's right, one's left. So I tried to clear the right-hand side to give me somewhere I could go if I needed to, because there's going to be quite a lot of barriers in this room, and they will shield enemies, which is annoying, but uh, it is what it is. Not much, not much you can do about it. So what I tried to do is clear one side. You can see here the blinding needs just allow me to get close to the enemies to clear them. Now I've got a side clear. Now there will be ads that will appear over here periodically. Uh, they will push downstairs and stuff. The blinding needs will stop. They will stop them. But you again, you've got to be careful that you don't run out of ammo in this room. The key to this room... You see there are a couple of hits and, and you can be in trouble. This is, this is a pure safe zone. If you go back down the stairs, you'll be completely clear. Uh, the key is, move quickly. Don't stand in the same place expecting to be able to survive. It won't happen. So, now that we've cleared this right-hand side, I can actually move. And when I get my super, uh, if there are enemies being tethered by any of the barriers, I can deal with them then, because the super will kill them in the barrier. So I'm just picking off any kind of singular ads that are about. Uh, now I'm get. I've got. I think I've got six, six resilience. So I think I get my barrier back every thirty seconds, which is okay. I mean, it could be better, but thirty seconds is okay. Uh, so I know I've got guaranteed health regeneration every thirty seconds, and that's kind of the way I'm playing it. I'm playing it to that strength because the weakness of this strike is that you don't get your health back. Now, the main kind of shields you'll deal with in here are predominantly solar. There are some arc, the knights are arc. In fact, there's prob there probably actually is more arc knights than there are solar wizards. 
The boss is solar, which is why I kind of went with a solar grenade launcher, because I need to break her shield. And breaching clear will allow me to break her shield. And you see there that the next wave's coming in, so I've decided just to pop my super and try and clear as much of them as possible. Anything that was tethered, see there, it's just going to kill them within their tether, but you have to be careful and get out in time. So just so I can assess the situation, uh, I'm moving back to my safe zone. I've seen that I was clear from behind, so now I'm going back to the spot over here where I can I can then assess and see the whole area and see what I'm dealing with. So we're, we're going to take out, try and take out this barrier, which will free up... Uh, It'll free up these ads here. So you see it's, I can put that down there. I can put another anarchy on there. Because when you break, when you break the shield, you break the tether to the other ads. I just put another anarchy on. Any solar ability kills that I get from the super, the melee or the grenade will give me health back. So, you know, it, it's, it's. You know, I expected to see a lot of wallop runs this week because literally this this strike lends itself because with this modifier lends itself to to arc. There's nothing you know that's it's, it's not a detriment against, against uh, sorry uh, to the wallop. It's not a detriment to anybody that uses the wallop because well you don't get your health back and doing it on the wallop just negates that health thing. Now solar would be really good, you know. Uh, because, uh, is it top tree? Bottom tree. Can't remember if it's top or top or bottom, but one of them allows you to do like a phoenix dive, which gives you your health back continuously. There's very little cooldown on it. So I, I, cho I, I just I feel like I've done that many wallop runs. It's time to give, you know, I've been trying this season to give the other characters a bit of love. So it was, you know, I felt like it was the Titan's turn, so I'm not bothered that he regenerated. I can just put that up, get my health back, and still go back and re-engage, which is the great thing about the Crest of Avalupi. It allows you to re-engage. And now, literally now we've cleared another room. You know, you j just be careful of that, because obviously one of the modifiers, which I haven't said yet, is... Uh, arc damage is increased by 50% incoming, so is aerial. So, Shriekers do a lot more damage, Wizards do a lot more damage. Uh, you just have to be careful. So, we've cleared out this room. Outside, there is a lot going on. Outside is probably the busiest area in the whole strike. Now, the first area you come up against, that's probably my least favourite area. Because... Because of uh, because of all the barriers, it really slows your progress. You're kind of at the mercy of these barriers. You need to get them into a position where you can attack them. And as you can see, if you you know when you're watching the first bit, I tried to do a lot of moving. That's not just the moving isn't just me just running about trying not to get hit. The the movement that I'm doing as well is trying to drag enemies out of position. Is to try and separate bu bunches of ads. And if I can separate them, then I can get more one on one encounters. You know, it's using your area, your position. Uh, it's not just trying to fi figure out the best place just to, sh you know, to shoot enemies from. It's sometimes, with, with especially in areas like this, where there's a lot of enemies. Uh, and they're all, it seems like they're all defending each other. Sometimes it's about manipulating the area as well, manipulating the ads to get them to move about to make it easier for you to actually kill. Because if they're all bunched up, then it's, it's just a real bad day. So your first point of call here is to take out the barrier that's here when you get here. After that, I would then, I would then start looking at the three wizards because... Aerial, uh, aerial and arc, that's, they're a very dangerous combination. Now you'll see outside you've got two Shriekers, two barriers. So the Shriekers don't become active until most of the ground adds, if not all the ground adds, are dead. So you're going to get these arc knights. I put out a couple of anarchy just because that, that is my arc weapon. So... 
just again be careful because another thing is they're going to throw a lot of grenades so you don't want to be in the range of the the high solar grenades and literally i just my the biggest thing i'm interested in are, are these art knights you see he's just that that knight is just beaming where he thinks i'm going to be there's a lot of enemies that they back away they're in cover uh, you kind of have to try and stun them when you see them see there just try and get a couple of anarchy out there because as long as he's out there I, I i can't push just try and clear as much as i can trying to get that uh trying to get that blinding need and that that the even though they're shielded the blinding need will it'll work on you know the, the shield doesn't doesn't matter when it comes to blinding needs. It doesn't block the blinding needs effect, even though it's a different element. So you can blind those those knights. And now we're gonna, you know, you you'll keep getting these. You see there, you take a lot of damage from from uh, the acolytes. So now we're gonna get two two hive knights. They they're the much much more palatable version because they won't be firing. They're merely, they're merely enemies, so they'll try and push us. I'll just put another one on him, and that should just sort him out. And as soon as the ground ads have gone, or, or at least the newer ground ads, like the Thrall, see now the Shriekers are active, so you can... There are points you can go to, that you can go up so far in this room, where the Shriekers won't shoot you. It kind of works that if you don't go too far outside the building... They won't shoot. So I'm just trying to make sure there are no ads outside. I'm checking my radar that there are no ads outside. So I can attack these shriekers without getting shot at constantly. So this is where I've chose to take the right one from. Uh, you can't use your energy grenade launcher because it's got blinding needs. And uh, that just shuts them up. That just stops them, closes them up entirely. So, for some reason, you'll have noticed, if you're not doing, or if I wasn't able to hit the crit, it wasn't registering any shots, which was kind of strange. So, I just, luckily that second one just sat there and asked me to crit. So, what I'm going to try and do now is Colby and Anarchy over. You have to be careful when it comes to damaging these. So, you'll see, I try not to shoot too much when their shield isn't up. Not with the not with the scout rifle anyway, because you can knock that one on the left, you can knock him off. And it's just it's kind of a pointless exercise. You should put a a preventive grenade down there in case any of them push up. I want this second barrier now the, in this area here in this second area here. Uh, you've got this barrier here, you have the barrier on the left, and there's two barriers, two hive barrier knights. Uh, they're further, they're further down to the left, just, just kind of where that grenade got thrown from. You've also got a heap of acolytes, and you've got an arc knight down here as well. That's the last enemies in in this area. Just to the left here, you'll see those two barrier knights. So again, you kind of have to take your time here. You can't really because because of togetherness can't really be too aggressive which is can be annoying when you've got ads that are hiding all the time and these high acolytes they, they like to kind of run backwards and forwards and 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 kind of hide and there was a lot of them i was i was actually surprised i was surprised by how many of them that actually were and as i've said because they throw grenades and you're not getting your health back even even the little kind of pea shooters they do quite a bit of damage to so i'm being Actually, actually quite cautious here, trying to make sure that they're all dead. I had a problem trying to get this knight uh, to stay still. You see there, there's one left. If I can hit him in the head, then I, I don't. I can't remember actually if that's the last one. We've I, I, we've accidentally hit this barrier, so now we get actually get a chance to take him down. So I'll just get a better angle, stick him with a couple of anarchy properly, and just hit him enough to keep him in, in place. And that's him gone. And there's one more barrier. We've also got this this uh, arc shielded knight, 
which I would like to break his shield if I can. I know I've got a heap of heavy, so I'm I'm, I'm not too worried by uh, by using a lot of anarchy, but you kind of have to be careful because these barriers do an absolute ton of damage. And unlucky for me, I really struggled to hit that barrier. So I've got to change my angle. I was really playing far too conservatively. So I've managed to stick him now. Used about two clips, but he's I've stuck him. And there we go. That blinds this arc shielded knight. I can just put one at his feet now, and that's him. And then hopefully I've got enough heavy ammo on the floor that... Uh, I'll be just about full. I know I've got another brick. I'll try and find that. I think it's back up top. There it is. Uh, and 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 that's this this area kind of clear. So it's you've got you've got two more barriers, uh, and then you're into the final complex. Now, actually, the boss of this area, or the boss of this straight uh, Navota, which is basically Omnigo reprised, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, to, the, the strategy for beating the boss is pretty easy. It's getting to the boss. That first room, I think, is, is, is quite punishing because of the barriers. There's a lot of barriers. Isn't so many unstoppables, but there is a lot of barriers. Uh, nice exotic for my, my troubles. Uh, and he, even when that exotic dropped, I was thinking, hmm, probably worm husk. Uh, uh, worm god caress. And I was absolutely right, and that is the gospel truth. I thought it was worm. I thought it was uh, the car the caress gauntlets, and that's exactly. I think that's what it was actually. I remember thinking it was the the worm god caress. Maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe that was a different exotic that dropped. Oh, it was. It was the severance enclosure. I actually done this run yesterday, <laughs> so I actually got a few exotics to drop yesterday. I thought, I thought that was the gauntlets, because I remember, I remember an exotic dropping and me thinking, oh, I bet it's those gauntlets, and it was. Must have been a different exotic. So, that's the two barriers done. Now we're going to head down, you're going to go through the public area at Skywatch. Sometimes, there'll be a public, uh, there'll be a flag. Now, in, in this area here, the ads will still do Master Nightfall damage, but they'll take Patrol level damage. So they'll do the same damage, but they'll take... The same damage they would on patrol. So, it's kind of up to you. Sometimes, I mean, in the past I have went and rallied if I've needed, but not very often. I normally just head straight through here. Now, this this kind of area has its own challenges. I still think the first room is the trickiest. The challenges here are, the first thing you've got to do is get Novota to leave. Because you don't want... I mean, there's two other wizards here as well. You don't want Navota doing her her thing as well as other ads spawning in. So, because she's a wizard, solar damage. So, I'm just going to stick a couple of anarchy. I, I was a little bit... Uh, I was liberal with my anarchy usage there. Because, it, you know, ads like that are worth, worth the hassle of putting as many anarchy down as you think you need to. So I throw a grenade, you'll see, you will see there all the ads that it took out. Now we've got two barriers. Now I'm kind of staying here. I just want to stick one. And, I mean, the argument for using and not using Anarchy, I think it's there for all to see. That's why you would use it. Because it, uh, well, it's... it's Especially when you're not getting health back, you need to set enemies down quickly. It just is, it's, it's really good. Somebody said to me, uh, maybe in one of my streams or something, that it's like playing the game on easy mode. Now, I don't really subscribe to that. It does do a lot of damage, but there are a lot of enemies that it's not so easy to hit with the anarchy. So, I mean, it does do massive damage. I'm not arguing that. I'm arguing that, like all these kind of high-end weapons, it's it's the payoff is you have to you have to actually hit your shots. So, but if you do, then I agree it does. Man, it's it's so good. 
Now, because I've got unstoppable needs, grenade launcher, uh, barrier up there, because I've got unstoppable grenade launcher, uh, the, the, the anarchy actually will stop unstoppables. And because they do damage over time, it will stop them twice. You've got to be careful here. A couple of exploders. Now, when you pull out your grenade launcher, you get three seconds of unstoppable shot time. If you change weapon and change straight back, you get another three seconds. There's no cooldown on it. So don't think you can just have your grenade launcher out constantly and then stop an enemy. After three seconds and the timer appears, it tells you you've got an unstoppable shot loaded. Uh, after three seconds, uh, you've got to change weapon. And as you can see, because I've got breach and clear, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this by now, it works with all grenade launchers. So we know we've got another ALK enemy there. And we're just... We're just uh, whittling him down. Now what I do here is, because round that corner at the top, it's a couple of barriers. And it's kind of dangerous to, can't, to have them come out face on here. So I'll run straight up here and jump up here. And... I, you probably would have seen that arc flash. Because enemies started shooting me, I uh, my my reactive pulse kicked in and dealt a heap of arc damage. So there's your two barriers. You you will have seen that I uh, I bounced a I bounced a, a energy grenade launcher shot off the wall. That took all the smaller ads out. I think I'm I can't remember if there's one left, but basically, if there is. Then it took 99% of them. I just bounced off the wall so it hit below where I'm standing. And there's my four or five thrall there. So before I go into the room, yep, it took all of them out. Before I go into the room, I'm just going to have a scout about for heavy more than anything else. I'm good for it for, for uh, energy ammo, so I want some heavy. Now, the nightfall weapon from this is the Azumi Sniper. I actually got a pretty good roll uh it's not the one I wanted. It's not a god roll. But explosive rounds, kill and wind. I'll, I'll, I'll put up with that. I'll, I suppose I'll suffer that one. Triple tap Vorpal is what I would like, if I'm being honest. Uh, if snipers ever do come back into the game as a DPS option, then I think that would really do the business. It's a 90 RPM sniper. Pretty snappy, pretty stable. Good range, good stability, good impact. Uh, it's all around good sniper. Uh, so it's worth worth trying to get. But if I'm being honest, yeah, I'm probably... Same with the Hung Jury. I'm probably leaning more to the Adept versions at this point. So what we're going to do is, you see here, uh, it's kind of difficult to hit her. It's not difficult to hit her, but it is when you're worried about getting hit back more than you are hitting her. So I've managed to stick her. So I know, because of how much damage I've done, I know I'm going to get a wave of throttle. So I'm just going to push over to this area. When she's down at the bottom, this is a great this is a great place to push to. Now remember, if you're on bottom tree, uh, you see I've got some warrior there, which I'm not sure why that ran out because I was standing in it, but I noticed it done it a few times to me. If you, if you get some warrior and you stand in it, it recharges your grenade and your super faster. And the timer won't go down as long as you're standing in the sunspot that you, you actually produced. It's really good if you want to throw a ton of grenades. And you can get the kills with them. Which in this first section you can. Because it's basically going to be throw. Managed to get the stick there. So I am expecting a, another wave of ads. You can see I'm already, I'm already looking for them. There they come. Now you get some from the bottom. And you get some from the top. So this area here you've got... You've got uh, You've got cover from Navota. And you see you'll see there that, that, that enemy done damage to me. Uh and my my reactive pulse kicked in and, and basically took half his health off him with with the the arc pulse that it let out. The only champion you're gonna get in these this area is you're gonna get a couple of unstoppables, which actually is is, is fair because we haven't had any really. We've, we, you know, compared to barriers, we haven't had many at all. So, what's happened there is the minute she goes immune, that's when you're going to get these guys. 
Now you've got your Arc Knights, right? So what I wanted to do right off the bat was take out the two Arc Knights that appear down here. I think there's like two or three left up top. I'm not too fussed about those. I want to make sure I can get these Acolytes out of the way so that I actually can do something about the Arc Knights up there. Now, again, you have to be careful because Arc, you're going to take a ton of damage from these guys. So I've thrown them Gradient up there, not to take out the Arc Knights, but just to do some damage to these, these guys. So I'm going to save my grenade launcher a little bit, see if I can, if I can take any kind of, do any serious damage to these guys, which you've seen there, I, 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 uh, I managed to, I managed to do a little bit, but not much, and, and that's what, you'd have just seen there that acolyte just charging his grenade until I kind of fell off. That's the problem, is you are going to take a lot of damage from, from the other adds. I've almost got my, I'm waiting until I've got my barrier, I've almost got my barrier. I'll just jump up there, you see I've got a perfect shot, it actually done a ton of damage. Took out one of the knights, helped with, with the rest of them, rest of the adds. And there we go, I think there's just, he's up there. I need to stun him again if I can. And then I can get up there. It's heavy ammo up here. I can just put an anarchy shot. I'm not going to waste any more time with him. There is a, actually a ton of heavy up here. And there's also this guy up here. Once you've took them out, then uh, Navota is going to appear above us. Now you'll see, that you'll see her appear. This is where to attack her from, is these stairs. If you've got these stairs, you've got this kind of hive hive uh, structure which is good cover I always attack from up here now she did go down and then came back up but she allowed me before she came back up she allowed me to put to stay in the right position to put a couple of uh, anarchy shots on and now we've got a wave of ads you now you've got to watch out for exploders as well so I'm just trying to create a few uh, sunspots which will help kill the ads faster now again I've changed position because the ads are spawning. There's a lot of ads spawning up top. It's easier for me to come down the bottom to deal with the ads, so that so that I don't get into a situation where I'm moving about and I'm trying to dodge ads. I'm trying to get an angle on the water. Uh, the ads push me. I make a quick fire decision to to get out of our way, basically, and I actually move out the ads's position into her firing line. This is where you get your exploders, so I'm just I'm keeping an eye here because there there wasn't actually too much too many ads, but I never take any chances because see there, I actually done more damage than I thought. I was expecting more ads and didn't get the ads that I thought I was gonna get. I thought I was gonna get this wave and didn't get them. I didn't think I was I was going to get them. This uh, this wave spawn this this uh, ad spawn here is considerable, and you've also got the champion here. So, what I'm what I might have to end up doing because I've used my grenade, and I actually put the grenade in the wrong place. If I do get pushed, because a lot of these acolytes, if I do get pushed too heavily, and I go red, go into this cover, pop my super. And start getting my health back. I haven't used my super too much. You see this. The unstoppable comes with this big wave of, of, of uh, acolytes. And I've just about cleared them all out. It's just just him. There might be one up top. I don't think there is. But now what I can do. There you go big boy. Easy. And now Navota will reappear because she disappears during these times. Uh, she will reappear maybe in a different position. Uh, oh no, she won't reappear yet because we've got another Unstoppable. The reason you see me shaking my my character's head is because uh, I kind of messed up that the, the spawn thing. I expected to get those ads and when, when I seen that there was no more red, I, th I thought, oh, I jumped the gun a little bit and ads come out but it can happen 
as long as you're aware enough, the minute you see those acolytes, you know that you're getting the, un the, the unstoppable. And when you kill the un unstoppable up top, you will immediately get an unstoppable and a normal red bar a normal red bar ogre down at the bottom. So you just have to be aware of that. So now Navota's back up here. Now we're going to try and break our shield with, if we can actually hit her with a grenade launcher shot. There we go. And then again. And now, as soon as we do that, every time, every time, I am anticipating, every time I get those, I am anticipating getting... Uh, a wave of a wave of throw. I'm expecting that wave, so I always, as soon as I put the anarchy on, I just, I don't even bother waiting to see the wave coming. I just move. So when they drop down, I drop, I jumped up. So I don't wait to see what ads are coming. The minute I break her shield and I put some anarchy on, I move to the, my safe zone. So when she's up here, my safe zone is is at the bottom. Right, so you can see there, as soon as I see that red, I'm off. I don't just break a shield and run. I break a shield and then I wait to see. Now you can see with the third wave of ads, a lot of exploders. So we're just making sure that the exploders don't get a chance to push too close. And then... As you can see there, I'm just grabbing this ammo. There is cover you can take to make your way back up to the boss, up this right-hand side, right to the staircase. It's a great place to go. Now, eventually, she is going to... She's going to go immune, and then she's going to go back down to the bottom. Now, I am anticipating another wave of ads. She's teleported down the bottom. Now I'm getting my... Now what will happen is the ads you're going to get now. So on the first wave, it's just like Thrall. Uh, and then you get Knights. The second wave, it's it's Thrall and Exploders. And you get the Unstoppables. And then the third wave, it's these guys. Now we're going to get... And each wave, we'll get Exploders and Hive Knights. And this is my safe zone. Because it's Hive Knights. And Exploders. So obviously we want nothing to do with those. So I'm just trying to... While I'm up here, I can, ju I can just stand up here. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to make sure that there's no more Hive Knights. Which there is. Uh, I'm not wanting to come down until the Hive Knights are dead. And we know that there's one more. And there, we managed to get them to move right into the traps we'd already laid. Now we know there's a heap of exploders down here. So, just wild them away. Now, when I say there's a heap, in these waves, there can be a lot of exploders. <laughs> like, a lot more than I actually, because I couldn't remember the ad spawns before I came in here. I couldn't remember how much I'd have to deal with. And even I was surprised, but I've just noticed there, the reason why I was surprised is I'd done enough damage to get another wave. I'd just seen them drop out of the... I hadn't noticed that. That now I can see it, now I'm getting another wave of Exploders. So it's something you have to anticipate that you might do enough damage to get double waves. So that luckily, because I'm here, I'm kind of funneling them round the centre structure towards me. So they're not, you know, they're attacking in such a way, or they're moving towards me in such a way where I can actually watch them coming, and I can be more preemptive about where they are and where they're, you know, where they're going. So now we're hoping to get another wave. It's really hard to see where she goes when she goes through her own kind of smoke. We just want to break her shield. And we've managed to hit her, so we know we're going to get another wave. So you see there, I just like put, 
put a heap of uh I put quite a quite a few anarchy down to try and help uh with the flow of en enemies. And unfortunately I managed to get that knight. I was kinda hoping that he'd keep coming up, but unfortunately, because because of the grenades, I actually stunned him. So the reason he's not coming up is because of me. You just have to be really careful here because these are the ads you can't really push too much because of the amount of damage they will do. So now we have to find this this knight. There we go. Perfect. Now I know that these are exploders because the the knights don't the way the way that the, the knights move they're a lot more aggressive so they they would be right on top of me really quickly but just seeing the way that uh the way that they move I knew those were exploders and when I seen how much damage that that Navota had left I knew I could just push her with my super and that is the end of it so it's just about controlling the ads in this area uh making sure that you've got up a safe zone and I've showed three for each wave just make sure you've got a safe zone that you can push to should you need it uh thanks a lot for watching guys I appreciate everybody's support uh, this might be the last destiny video for a while as I am I'm going on holiday soon but I am planning on taking a little break from destiny uh I'm still gonna stream and I think with the other games that I'm gonna be playing maybe I might stream them I haven't I haven't decided but I will keep you guys updated thanks a lot for watching I hope this helps you get your sniper and get your 100k take it easy and I'll see you very soon <laughs>